it's always a good idea to return to the uh, assignment brief regularly and check off what things you've been able to add to your website and resources so far. Remember, this is just a resources website for a social media campaign. So it's limited in what I'm expecting to see from the website. But I'd like to just show you quickly how we might add a privacy page. And here we've got this in the requirements, privacy statement page appropriately completed. Now, privacy statements are a legal requirement within Europe and in the United States, and they have different requirements. There are many free uh, sample pages available, and I'm going to show you one that I've used myself. So here we've got uh, a privacy page I've created on my demonstration website, Cuba Magazine, and you're free to create your own, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to get my cursor over here, and I'm just going to drag down to the bottom of the page, And I'm going to choose right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to come to my page, sorry, my um, the back end of my website. And I'm going to create a new page. And just use blank page and click here. And then I'm going to choose a paste. And that will paste the entire page in from that website example that I found. Now, the uh, privacy and cookies policy, I'm going to take that because I need that to be the name of the page. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm actually going to insert it here as the title. And um, I've already made one earlier, so I'm going to give this a slightly different name. Okay, and uh, just remove that heading i don't need that anymore now there's only a couple of things that you need to alter on this demonstration page and please read it to get an idea so at the top you're saying who is the controller data controller of the information on this website now it's the name of your magazine so if your magazine is called tesco organic then you would write tesco organic is the data controller or if it's got a different name, you give it that name. So my example website here is called Cuba Magazine. So I'm going to insert Cuba Magazine. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom where I'm expected to give an email address. So I'm just going to make up an email address here. So I, um, presuming that I own the domain name. This is just for the purpose of this course assignment. So I'm going to put um, help at cubermagazine.wordpress.com. That's all I need to do. And that will be, if I select that, I can make that, oh, it's coming automatically, it's creating that as an email address. So now I press publish, I publish the page, and the final step that I need to do is to add it to the menu so that somebody can find it. So I go back to the home page, I've got pages here, so I'm going to scroll down, appearance, and under appearance, I'm going to choose customize. And then I go to menu. And this is my current menu. I'm going to add that privacy page at the end. So this is the privacy page that I created. And now it's appearing automatically at the end. I update the changes. And now somebody visiting the website can read the privacy and policy statement.